Hello and welcome back to our Empyrean Galactic Survival 1.8 Experimental Phase 1 Let's Play Poorly. When last we were here, we had just gone to the scientist camp. Oh, there's a supply bunker. Okay, so they're, they are showing up now over there somewhere. Where am I? Over here. So they're not showing up on this map for some reason. But they are showing up on the on the HUD. So those two things over there. So maybe we should do the rest of them before we get into our little uh, doodad. Uh, location tracker. Font of knowledge. Mark the location. And then... Experimental farms. Oh, did I do the supply bunker? Yes, I did. Okay, experimental farms. Oh, that was the farm chief. Okay, we have already seen him on the thing, so... There's that. There's the settlement chief. Okay. All right, so let's... Uh, oh, there's a camp over there. Let's see what we got. So I can put stuff in my cargo box here. This is this is part of my ship. I'm there, part of my little... Oh, now, now there's two of them, you can see. Uh, that's what I got. Oh, I should probably eat something. There we go. Now, let's go pilot this thing. Uh, you feel very comfortable inside it. Well, that's just not because I'm in this thing. All right. You've reached level five. Oh, I can probably get out of stuff. Get out of things now. Okay, there's a whole lot of shit happening at the moment. All right. There's probably something I need to do. There we go. P. The P key um, gives me this uh, whole control panel for what I'm in. Um, does it need... Okay, so current output... I don't remember how to turn this sucker on. It doesn't have any power, so it is going to need fuel. And it would need to fill it from here. So let's, uh, oh god, how did I end up there? Oh, did I get trapped? Oh no! Where the heck am I? Where did I get, oh dear! Oh dear! Oh boy. I think I'm stuck. Can I, can I crouch? What can I do? Can I get at, oh no. Oh no, I'm stuck! Well, it is an experimental build, so... How do I get out of here? Uh, let's see what happens if I quit and restart. I will be right back. All right, here we are. Yeah, I was able to get off the off my thing here. Oh, you know what else happened? Uh, you know what may have happened? I may have hit shift control. And that might I might have not actually gotten stuck. That may have just been me actually accidentally switching to a different keyboard layout. Um, that's fine. Uh, okay, let's see. We need to figure out some fuel, I think. Oh, we should probably stick the stick the little doodly doo down there. We go. And uh, how do we do this? What do we need? What do we need? My brain is slowly struggling to remember what I need to do. That's a fuel pack of Promethium, which I, is not what I want. Biofuel, that's what I want. I need 10 plant fibers. Okay, and plant fibers can come from wood logs. And I have seven wood logs. Okay, so I can make some biofuel. Let's find out how much we can make. Meanwhile, we can probably go over to this tree and shoot the tree and get some more wood logs if we need them. I'm also going to want to check out this uh, this big obelisk here. Alright. This is going to take a minute. So, uh, while we're waiting, here is, I hit P to, uh, basically what you do is once you're able to, like, pilot the hover vessel, hit P instead of F, and it brings you to the control panel of the object that you're kind of in, in, uh, in contact with. Nibiru is the name of my little hovercraft guy. It's a private faction, which means that nobody else can, can use it. Privat. That's funny. Um, 
It's got an energy output, consumption level, and power. How much power is left? How many minutes of power? CPU is something I don't really know too much about yet. Uh, it didn't exist within the last time really I played a fair amount, so uh, this is all going to be new to me. Luckily, I'm not going to have to worry about it too much since I'm building these craft from blueprints instead of making them myself. So it's got power, it's got a shield, it's got ammunition if it has weapons, uh, oxygen if you're able to fly it in space, which this one I'm sure cannot. Fuel and then pentaxid, which sounds like an antacid or possibly an, like, you know, some kind of an Alka-Seltzer surrogate, but I don't know what that is. Um, devices. This is the list of all of the devices on the on the hovercraft. Not, so basically, pieces parts that are not just structure. So we got the fuel tank, spotlight cube, ground repulsor engine, cockpit number two, which is just the type of cockpit that it is, the core, another repulsor engine, another fuel tank, a generator, two cargo boxes, one of which looks like that, the other one looks like that, and then another ground repulsor. The signal logic is for, I think this is for configuring the way certain devices communicate with one another. Fuck if I know how that works. Um, CPU statistics, again, uh, this is for CPU. If you have if you have the ability to add CPU, you put it in there and you can do more complex things. And then finally, the statistics uh, basically tells you the stats of your, ve of your vehicle, uh, how fast, how big it is, how many blocks it has, how many devices it has, and so on. How many fuel tanks, oxygen, attack and defense, which is none because it doesn't have any guns. Uh, how long it would take to build it cargo boxes, thrusters, and then all of your overview for um, your ability to maneuver. So uh, that is very cool. Like I said, a lot of it I don't really understand because I haven't played with that kind of stuff before. So we are building some more here. It's taking its sweet time to make that, but all right. Let's go take... Ah, oh, there we go. So this this is this has been an ongoing issue with the game, is that the completion dial here is never really 100% right. It's always a little off, and sometimes it still takes a little bit longer, and sometimes if you go back out, back in again, it'll it'll update correctly. I'm surprised that they haven't fixed that. Uh, you know, even after release, it should have... You would think it would be fixed, but... Okay, so we, we can either manage or fill all... Fill all seems not to do anything, so let's uh, fill the fuel here. Now we have 7% fuel. All right. I can turn off the power so that it doesn't eat up any um, fuel right now. So I'm turning off the power. All of these are turned on. The oxygen is off because there's no oxygen. Shield is off because there's no shield obviously, but it does have lights, signals, turrets, weapons. The signals meaning the signal logic here to connect things up. And again, don't ask me what any of that means. I don't know how any of this works, and I probably never will. That's okay. Got another one. I'm still building some more. Let's, uh, let's fill this with a little bit of there. All right. Now let's turn the power on. There we are. Look at us. Look at that. All right. We're now in our hovercraft. Now, I can add to this hovercraft if I want to. I can add parts. Like, I could add a mining beam or something to be able to mine while I'm out here. Or I could add dr uh, mining beam, maybe? No, drills. Like, drill bits and stuff. Um, and I can go up. And I can go down. And I can kind of go zooming around. I'm pretty sure there's a third-person view for this. I don't know what it is. God, this thing is... Wow, this... this Wow. Ooh, there's a damaged hover bike over there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back. I'm going to put... Uh, oof, oof. Oh, boy. This this guy is making me feel drunk. Okay. Uh, ha, ha. How do I how do I set you down? Do I just hit... Do I just turn the power off? I guess so. All right. We're going to go over here. Now, I could theoretically rebuild it or something, maybe. I don't know. What we're going to do instead, though, is we're going to salvage it. Oh, no. And by salvaging, we get pieces. We get parts off of it that go into our inventory, which we can then use. You can see here, mechanical components, electronics. So we just get those in our inventory, and then we can eventually 
use those in our portable constructor uh, as intermediate parts instead of primary parts, uh, you know, initial resources that makes it a little bit faster to build things. Now, um, I know uh, this is apropos of nothing. I mean, I'm not. I'm not saying this to like. I'm, you'll see what my point is. But uh, the first episode of this uh, series got the most views in the first 24 hours as I've ever gotten on any of my videos. Uh, something on the order of like 500 views, which for me is absolutely bonkers. Um, I mean, my, my X4 Foundations unmodded playthrough episode one, in since I started it, has only gotten about 800 views. So, um, what that suggests to me is that there are people who are watching this who um, are probably coming from places where they're looking for Empyrean uh, content and they probably were trying to learn a little bit about the experimental phase one. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I was able to provide a little bit of information, a little bit of entertainment for folks who are learning about the experimental phase one. I am most definitely not the guy to go to to actually learn anything, uh, because I will be learning it as I go as well. Now, of course, that may end up being helpful to people, and if it's helpful to you, uh, I am glad that I can provide that service. But the reason I bring all this up is... If you are a veteran Empyrean player uh, and you have just sort of popped in and you managed to get this far into the episode without being like, oh my god, this guy is stupid, which, you know, fair, um, I, I would appreciate comments giving me even the slightest bits of hints to be like, uh, try this, or you should be doing this instead, or that's not how you do that, or whoopsie daisy, you shouldn't have done that, you're screwed now. Um, stuff like that. Uh, I don't mind backseating if it's going to make my game the way that I play it more entertaining, well, for me. Um, I don't try to min-max. Uh, I'm not trying to optimize my play. I'm just trying to en enjoy a leisurely stroll through the game. So if there's anything that you would maybe recommend as a way to contribute to the leisurely stroll through the game, I would certainly appreciate it. Uh, and I, I don't mind... Oh, gosh, there might have been stuff in here. Oh, yeah, there's an oscillator, whatever the heck that is. I, I certainly don't mind having uh, optimization information, uh, but, um, but I'm definitely not going to, like, look for it, and I'm not going to be... Oh, I should go just grab that. Okay, I guess I can't. Uh, I'm not going to be really employing any of the super optimizey minimaxing stuff because that's not my style of play. Uh, for people who like that sort of thing, I am you know, I'm happy for you because you know honestly that's that's a good way to play a game. Is if you enjoy it that way, then freaking do it. Absolutely, I'm not one of those people who's like ah minimaxing is for losers. Not even a little bit, but it is uh, not for me. So. Um, Anyway, I don't know why I'm... I guess, <laughs> I guess I'm saying all that just to filibuster the fact that I'm taking me so freaking long to uh, dismantle that thing. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, let's grab some of these... Uh, no, not defense mode. Resource mode. Let's grab some of these resources here. Got a lot of crushed stone. This is going to be silicon. Very useful. Okay, so we, what are we doing? Well, let's uh, let's go over here to the obelisk. Let's see what happens down here. Um, ooh, more resources. I thought this was copper. Okay, great. Ooh, oh no! Before I go, I'm gonna. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to actually put more... Oh, no. That's not what I want. I want to do this. And get more fuel in there. Okay, 22%. And then actually what I want to do is I want to get into the cargo box. 
I'll go to cargo box one just because I, I just want to remember where that is. And we'll put a lot of the technological stuff. Or I guess, oh, we lost, we got some spoiled food. Ew, why? Um, spice. Oh, it was probably some of these confetti thingies and so forth that I, that, um, just spoiled. A multi-charge, optical. Okay, we're going to put all the, and the explore tokens. Fine, we'll put the spoiled food in there. I think we can use that for something over down the road. All right, so now that's that's all in my cargo. It's just so I, I don't have it in my pocket. Um, I could maybe, like, stick a fridge on top or something. Maybe I'll do that at some point. Um, like, take some of these pieces off and put a fridge on there. I don't know. I, it'll look dumb, but that's fine. All right, we're still making some more biofuel. Let's go head over to the obelisk and see what's in there. Hot dogs. More hot dogs. Oh, come on, Kevin. Stop it. Stop it with the hot dogs. Stop it with the hot dogs. All right. Does it do anything? I remember in the earlier tutorial versions, you would go in here, you'd get trapped, and there'd be like an oh no moment, and it would be, and there would be spiders, and it would be a whole thing. You need the following item. Key matrix. I do not have that. Should I have that by now, or no? I don't know. Oh god, is this one of the... Oh no, that's just spice, that's not one of the bugs. Um, okay. So we have, we have marked the settlement stuff, and okay, so we're gonna go... Uh, yeah, let's, uh, uh... I should probably wait until these are all done. What can I use the spice for? Processing more. I don't know. See, see what? See templates for. Oh, okay, so it doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, the game doesn't work like seven days where you can look at an object and see what it makes. That's unfortunate. And uh, the only reason I compare this game to Seven Days, or am comparing it to it, and it's not a qualitative thing, it's uh, more just in terms of how the game works, is because that is, for me, the survival game that I know the most, the most is uh, Seven Days to Die, so that's why I'm comparing it in terms of just how the me game me uh, mechanism works, uh, how, how the game plays. Uh, not because I think it's better or worse than Seven Days, I don't... Um, I have an opinion. But my opinion does not matter to anybody. It should not matter to anybody. Um, but there are some things that this game does that Seven Days doesn't, which I like, and vice versa. So. Alright, how are we doing? How's my filibuster going? We're almost done with these. I mean, I could theoretically do keep doing more, but I'm not, I'm not gonna. Alright, we're down to the last two. Nah, let's... Ah, freaking... Let's stop. Let's do this last one. I, I want to get on the move! want to go somewhere cool. Let's go over to the settlement chief. Uh, come on, cycle up, cycle up. Ooh, there's, a, there's critters over there. I mean, I'm not talking about the butterflies. By the way, that is fucking awesome. That was awesome the last time I looked at it. It's awesome now. It's going to be sundown in four... Hours? I'm just gonna call those hours. Four hours, 25 minutes. Okay, there's one of those critters. Now, if I shoot them and kill them, which I'm not gonna do right now, I can collect their meat and uh, and use that to make food, but I'm not gonna do that right now. We done? Yeah, we're done. Okay, let's grab that. Let's uh, stick you in here. All right, thirty-three percent full, roughly. Let's uh, let's go into the cargo box and look, let's actually just dump everything in there for now. All right, power up. There's probably an easy way to do that. I don't know what it is. Okay, that damaged hoverbike notification there is just, that's where the hoverbike was. It's not there anymore, obviously, because I demolished it. 
Uh, settlement chief is over this way. Oh god, this thing. This thing is so freaking sensitive. Holy cow. Oh, so many, so many hot dogs. Oh, they should call this Imperium Galactic Hot Dog. Oh, shit. What the heck just happened? Did somebody throw something at me, or did I just... Oh, God. Are you... Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, that was me. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, jeez, come on. Okay, there's this. There's the chief. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's get out of here. There really has to be a, a, another way to do that. Right? Yeah. Okay, here's the farm. No visible technology. Be careful. If you talk to anyone there, we don't know if they have seen us falling from the sky. Try to find out if they know anything. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, switch to defense mode, just to be safe. Do I want to steal his stuff? No, I don't want to steal his stuff. He's got a cauldron. Okay, let's go right here. Oh, I hear something. Something's growling at me. Oh, that guy. Who's that guy? Talk to the settlement chief. Yeah, all right. Uh, I don't know if these guys have neck physics, so I'm... I am so short compared to you. Oh, you are glorious. I love the look of you. You're definitely an improvement over the last time I played this game. The last time I played, these guys did looked a little bit more... Um, late 90s graphics. Now, you look awesome, and I love the aesthetic. I love your style, dude. Uh, and by that, I mean I really like the uh, the design from the designers of the game. I like that. Yeah, I like this. Okay. Uh, all right, let's talk to you. Welcome, friend. What a rare occurrence. We haven't had a visitor from out of town in years. What brings you here? I am on a search. Sounds important. If I can, I'd be happy to help you out. I have a few questions, if you don't mind. Sure, my friend. What would you like to know? Okay, can you tell me something about the planet? Not much to tell. We thank our ancestors for a temperate climate, sufficient rain, fertile soil, and except for a few smaller beasts, there are no really dangerous creatures on the entire moon during the day. At night, however, you should be careful. Better find shelter and wait for the morning. Otherwise, there is a lush plant world that has something to offer in the different vegetation zones for almost every taste and for almost every medical application. Everything else we grow ourselves on our farms. Okay, next question. Is there anything interesting to discover here? There is some, like the Fields of Ruins. If you see a tall tower on the horizon, you can assume that there are a lot of old walls there, too. Then there are the artifacts of a species unknown to us. Some of the off-worlders must have tried to decipher them a long time ago. Their science stations, tech bunkers, and surveillance camps can still be found. Some populated by disoriented robots left behind. Maybe these legacies will help you in your search. So, clearly they know technological information. Does the name Tash Aki Talon mean anything to you? Not really, although there are a few stories from a time before the glorious Xerax Empire, almost a millennium and a half ago. The name appears now and then in connection with the artifacts and a war of silence. She probably played an important role in it, but what exactly is not handed down? In any case, this Tash is no longer here. I'd be very surprised. Ha! Ah yes, the Xerox. What are your experiences with them? Well, depending on which... Why is someone growling at me? This is freaking me out. Well, depending on uh, which of the elders you ask, we as Talon should not have the best opinion of the glorious Xerox Empire. If you believe the lore, the Xerox subjugated the Talon and forbade them any higher technology. Whether that is true, I don't know. Either way, since 1368 standard years, the GZE time system has been in effect in the galaxy, but we are not dependent on Xerox or anyone else for our way of life. In my opinion, it can stay that way. I want to ask, why is there a dog behind me? Um, have there been any recent visitors with this logo on their suits or vessels? Hmm, let's see. No, I have never seen it here before. No one from the, the Offworlders has been here in the last few months anyway. I really like the, the, the multimedia aspect of this. I wish the videos uh, were a little bit of a higher volume, but uh, that's pretty cool. If you want to find those people, you should look on our original homeworld of Omicron. Conveniently located here in this solar system. If you've arrived by ship, you're, you've certainly passed by there. Ask the elders or the off-worlders there. Maybe they can help you. Do you have something for me to do? 
There's always plenty to do here in our settlements. Just go to the people on the farms and plantations and ask them what you can do for them. Come back later. Maybe I'll have a task for you then, too. Um, is this... Uh, I am the village chief. This moon, as well as the others you see in the sky, are in a restricted area, so we rarely welcome any visitors. Even pirates and other riffraff we don't see often. However, there is not much to get here except some strange artifacts and some remains from ancient times. On the other moons, it might look different. But we have no contact there, and we are not really interested in it. Technology or its application, we do without it as good as we can. Thanks a lot, and goodbye. All right. Excellent. We've got about four more minutes in this episode. I'm not going to steal any of your corn, even though my seven days to die sensibilities is telling me I really need to. Uh, is this my guy? Yeah, okay. Does he show up on the map? That's my question. Yes, okay, Nibiru does show up on the map. Good, good. Ooh, grab some spice, grab some hot dogs. And we should probably eat some. There we go. Alright, so what's next for us in this intrepid little journey? Uh, dig site terminus, supply bunker. The dig site or the camp. Wait, did we come from the camp? I think, no, the camp is over that, over by the obelisk. All right, camp, because you're so nondescript, you're, you're what's next. Camp, no, 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 camp, there we go. Oh, Jesus, okay, okay, all right, okay, okay, slowly, slowly, oh my God. Okay, so there's a plantation over here. Oh, oh, oh! What the heck? Can I just get out of you right now? Oh, you're gonna you're gonna stay on, aren't you? Let's turn you off. Boink. Okay. There's a plantation here. Vegetables. Oh, and this dude. I don't want to steal his stuff. I don't want to. I don't want to get in trouble. Let's talk to the warrior. Let's uh, make sure. Here we go. No more neck physics time here. Uh, all right. Oh, hello, son. Nice day for some enjoyable farm work, ain't it? Can I help you with something? I'm glad you're here. Almost out of ammo. Okay. Someone has to go back to one of the farms and get a new ammunition from the warehouse. Right now, I can't send anyone. Can you take over the task? Bring the ammo to me or to one of the other plantations. The more, the better. Okay, let's do it. Now, this says check open assignments. Ammo transport. Okay. Great, so this is a way of getting back to, uh, uh, all right, okay, so we need to go to one of the farms. What the fuck, that growling is freaking me out. We gotta find a farm and bring it to a plantation. Okay. Well, that's gonna be a task for another day. Oh, there's a farm right over there. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna get in here. We're gonna turn you on. And we're going to aim at the farm and then head out there next time. All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time.